the following film we will present our methodology for preparation of permanent sections for asylum and flow information studies. Samples can be collected with the well-known Trefor tool. The so-called microcores can be placed into Eppendorf tubes or directly into histosets. For further processing, the microcores are transferred from Eppendorf tubes to the histosets, marked with the sample number. Usually we collect two microcores. One sample is archived and the other is prepared for the further processing. First, the excess bark and asylum growth rings are removed with a razor blade. The sample should however contain at least the two youngest asylum growth rings and the youngest part of phloem. Then, the transverse plane of the microcore is identified and marked with the pencil. Samples prepared for further processing are placed into a basket of the tissue processor, containing 70% ethanol. When the basket is filled with the samples, it can be moved to the tissue processor. The device enables automatic dehydration and infiltration of the samples with paraffin. The first seven baskets contain different concentration of ethanol. The next three baskets are filled with the clearing solvent. Less toxic clearing solvent should be preferred. The last two baskets are heated up to 60 degrees Celsius and contain paraffin. The whole dehydration and infiltration procedure lasts 20 hours. After this, the samples can be embedded in paraffin. For preparation of paraffin blocks, we use a paraffin dispenser with a heated plate to around 60 degrees Celsius. In addition, heatable forceps, metal molds preheated to the same temperature and a petri dish filled with cold water are needed. Before placing a microcore into the mold, a small amount of paraffin should cover the bottom. Then the sample is placed into the mold in a diagonal direction and the bottom of the mold should be immersed into the cold water so the paraffin can harden. This will stop any further movement of the microcore. When the mold is full, the main part of the histoset is placed on top of the mold and filled with additional paraffin. After that, the sample should be cooled down to room temperature for approximately half an hour. After that, they can be placed into the refrigerator or freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. This enables easier separation of the paraffin block from the metal mold. The surface of the paraffin blocks should be reduced with a knife to ensure the smallest possible surface for preparation of slices with rotary microtome. The cutting surface should have a trapezoid shape with the size of 1 square centimeter for optimal formation of the ribbon at the rotary microtome. Before sectioning, the paraffin blocks should be trimmed. This removes excess paraffin and levels the surface. Still, the cut sections are not yet suitable for further processing. The trim blocks should be now placed into cold water for at least two hours or overnight to soften the wooded tissue. When the tissue is moistened enough, it is prepared for cutting. First, the object glasses should be coated with a drop of glycerin albumin for better adhesion of the slices to the glass. For cutting, paraffin blocks are mounted to the clumping device of the rotary microtome. The thickness of the slices is usually 8 to 10 micrometers. The 
the foam dry buns should be transferred with the two sticks first into the cold water and then into water heated up to 40 degrees Celsius to stretch them. It is important that the transfer of sections to the object glass is done as quickly as possible, otherwise glycerin albumin is washed away. Then the samples should be heated in a dryer up to 70 degrees Celsius in order to ensure the best adhesion between the sections and object glass. When this process is finished, let the samples cool off before proceeding with further steps. Before staining the sections, the paraffin should be removed from the slices. Therefore, the samples are placed into two baskets with clearing solvent, for example, D-limonin or Ultra Clear for 15 minutes in each basket and after that into two baskets filled with 100% ethanol also for 15 minutes in each. Then the sections can be colored in water solution of saffronin and astra blue again for at least 15 minutes. After that the sections are washed clean. First with the distilled water and followed by 70 and 100% ethanol for a few seconds. Before mounting in UPRL, clean the object glass and remove twisted or damaged sections. Put a drop or two of mounting medium uperl onto the sections and cover them with the cover glass. Finally, remove the air bubbles and the excess of the mounting medium. Weight the sections with 200 g metal weights and leave them for at least 24 hours so that the resin hardens. Samples can be then analyzed under the light microscope. The advantage of this preparation procedure are the high quality sections, which enable the analysis of cambial, xylem and phloem tissues for further xylem and phloem formation studies.